Hi and welcome everyone and thank you for joining. Today I'm going to be talking about Microsoft Excel 2016 and how to create a pie chart. Let's go ahead and get started. So right here I have an Excel spreadsheet. What's on it is not really important. Uh, mostly just the process of how I create the pie chart is going to be what you want to learn here. So right here uh, we see that we have these cells over here which are going to be basically be the uh, slices in our pie chart. And then we see the figures over here that will decide the, uh, the size of the pie chart that we need. And so I'm using these two figures because they're non-adjacent. So what I want to show you is first we're going to select A5 to A9. Okay, because again those are our categories right there. And then I'm going to hold down the control button and select the figures that I want. Remember not to include any totals in these figures because it'll uh, offset the uh, d it'll distort your pie chart. So no no totals right there. So we have our areas that are going to be our slices and our figures right here. Then we go to the insert tab and we go right over here to the charts group and then we click right here 3D pie. Okay, you can choose any of the pie charts here. I'm just going to show you 3D pie to uh, basically put um, this one on display. So I click 3D pie. Now the problem is is sometimes the pie chart can conflict with what you're doing on the page. So oftentimes it's better to take that pie chart and actually move it to a different area. And so we can put it on a sheet dedicated specifically to the pie chart. So I go to the chart tools design tab, the location group, and then I click move pie chart. And right here we could actually put it on a brand new sheet. So on this sheet, let's just say I call it projected revenue. That way I don't have to change it later. I type that in, I click OK, and we see right down here is our new projected revenue sheet with just our chart on this slide. So this makes it a little bit easier to print, a little bit easier to look at. So I hope this is I hope this has uh, helped you out and helps you better understand how the uh, charts work, especially with the 3D pie chart, and also moving it to a new location so that you could edit it a little bit easier. My next video is going to go over editing the uh, 3D pie chart. So I hope you joined me for that one. Thank you so much. Bye.